Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We are here with Brandy and Storm and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands your girls learned here at school. We're going to start off by introducing the training equipment. And Brandy's got a standard six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand which leaves her left hand free to make a correction. And the only correction we give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar which is the second piece of equipment. Now we'll have a couple different training collars that you can choose from. Of course we'll make a recommendation but we want you to feel comfortable with it. So the first command we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is proper leash walking, always on your left, and the command is storm heal. Now at this point she's got a job to do, and that's to stay even with your left leg, no forging ahead, no lagging behind, and whenever you stop, storm has been trained to automatically sit and wait for another command. Now all of this obedience training is going to help with your off-leash calm, the excessive howling from time to time, and the chewing. Nice automatic sit. Now the next command we're going to demonstrate for you is going to be the sit-stay. The sit-stay is a hand and a voice command. Brandy uses her left hand about an inch or two from her muzzle and the one word firm command to stay. Now she should hold this sit-stay for 30 seconds working up to three minutes. We always stay start off at the 30 second mark and take your time getting up to that three minute mark. When Brandy returns back to her dog she's going to walk all the way around her counterclockwise. She stops at heel position and now at this point Storm waits for another command and they take off healing again. So you can see if Brandy speeds up, slows down, walks at a normal pace, Storm adjusts accordingly. So no matter who's walking her, she should be right there at your left and it should be a pleasure. Now if she doesn't sit, a little tug and no sit. Brandy puts her in another sit stay, goes out to the end of her leash and again has her hold this. 30 seconds working up to three minutes. And instead of returning back to her dog, she can call her out of that. And her job is to come back to you and to sit facing you. And that's a good way to teach her, number one, to always come when called, and two, not to jump when she does get to you or when she does greet you. If you can if you can hear Brandy, which I think you can, she's praising Storm, rewarding her with praise. We try not to use food, um, especially at the end of training. We always want to use praise as a reward system. Nice automatic sit. Brandy has her stay again. And it's going to be important that you practice these commands with Storm when she comes home. We always say practice every day. Keep your training sessions short. 15, 20 minutes is long enough and you can practice indoors as well as outdoors. Brandy can call her out of that again. Storm come. Let Storm come. She should come back and sit. She did a really, really nice job. And then they get back to heel position and they're going to take off healing again. Lots of praise, motivation. Keep her kind of focused on Brandy because that's the idea that the dog is more focused on you than the outside distractions and things that are going on around her. And we always keep our training sessions in a, in a really quiet area and relaxed areas with limited distractions. Now the next command we're going to show you is going to be our down from heel position. Yeah. It's the one word firm command to down and stay. Now with your down stay, you can have her hold us a little bit longer, say a minute or so, working up to five minutes, and again taking your time getting to that five minute mark. Brandy's going to return back to her dog and walk all the way around her counterclockwise, and she shouldn't get up. She should wait until she gets another command, and then Brandy heals her out of that. So again, we want to try to make this fun, but it should be structured. It should be, you know, a training session for Storm and give her an outlet for that instinct to yeah. to hunt, yeah. to do what hounds do. Yeah. Now, technically, she did go down. She is laying it down, and that's what Brandy asked her to do. She's just a little bit more relaxed. Brandy can call her out of that. Again, it's storm come. She gets up. She comes right back to her trainer, and she sits. Very nice. Storm has done a really nice job here at school. Um, the hounds tend to be a little bit more stubborn than a lot of other breeds, um, but she's a sweetheart and, and she's really trying, you can tell. Nice automatic sit. Brandy's going to show you that down one more time from heel position. 
the only time we want to use Storm's name in training is when we're calling her or when we're healing with her. All the other commands are just the one word command. Brandy calls her out of that one more time. Very nice automatic sit. And then the very last command we're going to demonstrate is going to be our down from heel position. This is where you'll have your dog in a sit stay. In the beginning, you'll go just a few feet away from her. So sit, stay, take a couple steps away, and you're gonna use your right hand. Try not to bend over too much because that looks like you're calling your dog and give her the one word firm command to down. Stay. So sit, stay. stay. She's a little bit of a leaner. She likes feeling you next to her. Yeah. Very good. So we've shown you Storm's ability to walk nicely or heal nicely on a leash, to automatically sit, to hold that sit stay, down stay, the come command, and then the distance down. We want to thank you so much for trusting us with Storm, for using Nora's dog training company as your personal dog trainer, and we look forward to seeing you on Friday. Have a great day.